Howdy y'all. Howdy y'all. So Jen and I spent the last two days in DC and <sighs> so tiring. Oh my gosh, so tiring. So because I grew up not too far away from DC, we decided to escape DC, head a little bit south, and we're gonna go visit my hometown. Rain은 DC에서 두 시간 거리에서 태어났다고 하니까 그곳에 성지 순례를 하러 갈 거예요. 가봅시다. Let's go. Let's go. 저희가 영상에서도 몇번 말씀드렸는데 레이는 버지니아에 있는 아주 작은 한 마을에서 태어났는데요. 레이가 8살 때까지 거기서 살았다고 하더라고요. 근데 거기 가는 길에 미국의 초대 대통령인 조지 워싱턴이 태어난 곳이 있대요. 그래서 거기 잠깐 들렸다가 가도록 하겠습니다. 그래서 레이는 조지 워싱턴이랑 고향이 같아요. So we're currently in the northern neck of Virginia. If you look at Virginia on a map, it is on the east coast, obviously next to the Atlantic Ocean, but near the top of Virginia, there are three peninsulas. So the Atlantic Ocean actually flows into some like rivers into the state. So we'll put a map here and show you with a little pin where we're going, okay? 물론 다들 아시다시피 미국은 동부에서 서부로 이렇게 확장해 나간 거잖아요. 그리고 버지니아는 그 중에 가장 최초로 어, 개발된 곳중 하나니까 여기 있는 진짜 굉장히 어, 히스토리컬한 어, 히스토리컬한 <웃음> 히스토리컬한 콩글래시 <웃음> 어쨌든 그 콜로니얼 시대의 그 <웃음> I can't I cannot get over historical Han. I think I can speak Korean if that's the level that I'm aiming for. 그러니까 콜로니얼 시대에 지었던 집들이나 농장 같은 게 굉장히 많이 보여서 굉장히 기대돼요. 그리고 레이가 어렸을 때 어, 취미로 이렇게 땅 파는 게 취미였다 그러는데 땅 파면은 그 네이티브 아메리칸들의 그, 그 화살초 그리고 막 동전 이런 유물들이 막 나왔다 그래요 집앞 마당에서. 그러니까 한국으로 따지면 버지니아는 한국의 경주 같은 곳이에요. Free admission. 워싱턴 DC 에리아 진짜 좋은데요. 거의 다 공짜예요. 근데 미국은 진짜 공짜 거의 없거든요. Everything's free. I love free. Free is the best. See, there's so much you can see and do. 워싱턴 DC에서 봤던 모뉴먼트. 이게 10분의 1 그 축소판이래요. How beautiful already. Yeah. We're in the water. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this map is actually really helpful. This is where DC is up here. We drove from DC all the way around this water to here, which is where George Washington's house is. And my house was right here, across this river, the Rappahannock River. All right, if you would follow me over yonder, we will go see George Washington's birthplace house. You got George Washington in. 이런 동네에서 태어난 거예요. It's so peaceful, right? Yeah. Like look at the gigantic clouds. This beautiful water. <웃음> and there's a mountain there. A mountain? I guess the Pungsujiri was not that good. There are so many massive trees. Like look at this one. It's got to be hundreds of years old could have even been here when George Washington was around. Look at this. Wow. Do you feel the power of George Washington? Not yet, but <laughs> that's okay. 여기가 조지 워싱턴 생가인데 지금 공사 중이에요. 그래서 이 전기만 느끼다 가겠습니다. So the brick house that's currently under construction is at the site of where George Washington was born. However, it's a recreation built in 1931. It's supposed to represent the typical colonial house of the time. And the bricks for the house were handmade from local clay. And it uses furnishings from the early 1700s, like when George Washington would have been there. Since this house is closed, do you wanna go see my my old town? I want you guys to know something before we go. My old town when I lived there had less than 800 people in it. It is so small. And you can like walk the whole neighborhood in probably 10 minutes. So it's just a, just a little place, a little wee place, but 
I'm excited to go. So okay. let's continue our adventure. Wow, I can see my house from here. Like where that grass is over there. I used to like swim in the water right there and I caught catfish and eels. Coming up here on the left used to be a 7-Eleven where my mom worked part-time, right here. Oh, it's gone. Now it's a super tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> And, and right across the street, there used to be a building there that doesn't exist anymore where I got my very first haircut. Wow, cool story. They even have museum. This is a very historic city. I'm gonna pull over here and then we can walk the whole city and I'll explain to you what I know about it. <laughs> So first, hmm. first we are going to walk down this way, okay? okay. You know why? Because right. I gotta show you the spot where I caught my first sea slash river eel. We are here to catch a fish here, but at that time, we caught a fish in Pungcheon. I like fish very much. So to give you guys a little bit of history about this town that I grew up in, it's actually one of the oldest towns in Virginia. John Smith came here in 1608. I don't know when this town actually became like a town town, but that's like the first documentation of this place. And actually the building right behind me is supposedly about 300 years old. This city was um, the main port in Virginia for a long time. So whenever imports were coming into Virginia, they'd have to stop here and then have their goods inspected here at this house, which is so interesting. It still exists. Um, they were using it as an Airbnb for a while, I saw, and also the owners were trying to sell it at least as recently as last year. So who knows, if you want to own a 300-year-old house, there you go. <laughs> 오랜만에 태어난 곳에 와서 기쁜 레이. <웃음> so my brother and I used to bike down this street. It was next to my close friend's house, which is over there. I'll show you in a sec. But we come down here. There's a cute little beach here. Wow, it's so small. <웃음> 레이가 이 해변에서 어렸을 때 남동생이랑 장어랑 매기 잡고 놀았대요. Such a small dinky beach. <laughs> Don't be hating on my beach. <laughs> we are in the Caribbean. <laughs> 저희가 한국에 살 때는 제가 어디서 태어났는지 그리고 제가 어렸을 때 어디서 놀았는지 제가 데리고 다니면서 투어를 시켜줬는데 이번에는 레이 차례예요. We're in like the historic section of this town. Oh, I wanted to say that actually, so this area is really small, but all the streets are exactly the same as uh, when this town was first settled and all the names are the same too. So we're currently on Prince Street. That's the original name of this street. And this street is Cross Street. I think that's what it says. Like my eyeballs, I'm getting old, can't tell. I think it's Cross Street. And that one is water lane. So this boarded up building behind me actually used to be a restaurant that my family and I ate at all the time. My dad would come here to play pool, but sadly it closed. Uh, before we came here, I searched like all the old restaurants we used to eat at and almost all of them closed down during COVID. So yeah, COVID, COVID definitely hit this place pretty hard, I think. I've handed you the right, and there's an official courthouse, southern style, with Confederate soldier out front. This was built in 1848, the Essex Courthouse. And then another historical building, the old clerk, clerk's office, and it's now the women's club. I don't know how they're right there. This is the old clerk's office, now the women's club. <laughs> Well, well, if you walk out in front of the car, you can see the uh, river. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, Lois, directly at the end of the street is the Rappahannock River. And this is the old section. This was the old debtor's prison. 
What is that? If you didn't pay your debt, you go to jail. Oh. <laughs> 그 IRS 미국 국세청이 그때도 무서웠나 봐요. Debtors Prison. 세금 안 내면 여기다 가뒀대요. 1769년에 여기 세금 안 내면은 여기다가 사람들 가뒀대요. What's the most interesting is all of these old buildings are now just new businesses. Like government buildings or the women's club or an attorney's office. Like people just use them. Use the buildings so. though. And this is the house of one of my close friends when I was young. I wonder if they still live there. If so, hello. <laughs> 친구야, 놀자. <laughs> it's called the Lewis House. It's such a pretty house, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, now let's get in the car. We'll just drive down the street and I'll show you my old house, I guess. Okay. We're coming right now on the right hand side. Our house. Yeah, that's it. Right behind the Jeep. And there is our house. And the front door is closed, Whit might not be here. Yeah, this house. That says low one? parking. This house right here. This why I want to eat? Yeah. I tried to knock on the door, but the lady didn't answer, so maybe she doesn't want me there. Um, that's okay. But what was interesting is I looked at the porch, it's still painted the same paint that my family painted it with. We use a light blue paint. I have photos of my brother and I and my family painting that porch and it hasn't been painted again. It's all like peeling off. So people aren't really taking care of it. And I should say that we didn't live in the whole house. It's an apartment. We had the first floor and the basement and the upstairs was two apartments, I think. But we did all of the like landscaping and building maintenance. And we also had the carport in the back. It's just a house, but it's significant to me because this house is the house I lived in the longest out of any house that I've ever lived in. I lived here, I think, eight years. And it's also the house where my father passed away. So, you know, it's got some memories. Should we do like a loop around or maybe I should try knocking on the door again? I don't want them to like get creeped out. <laughs> okay. I should say too, actually the landlord for this building, they still live in this town. I contacted them because I found my parents' lease for this apartment. The apartment was four bedrooms, two bathrooms, plus a two-car carport. Can you guess the cost? I don't know. In the 90s and early 2000s? I don't know, 300 $450 a month. It's so cheap. So crazy, right? Yeah. I think I've said it before, but the schools in this area were not that good. So my parents paid for me to go to a private elementary school, but all the kids on this block also went to the same elementary school, so we would all wait here for the bus. And my class only had, I think, eight students in it, so much <laughs> different environment. Yeah. <laughs> where the dogwood tree used to be. <laughs> Let's see here. Of course, this is the Lord and Master. This is a kid you're really proud of, and you're so happy. That's a kitty. All right. And where'd he go? See how sharp he looks? Clean, <laughs> clean shaven, <laughs> clean cut. No, you have to be. Yeah. Stop it now, just you're being existential again. <laughs> 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 저희가 예전에 오늘 VCR 영상 보신 분들은 아시겠지만 그 촬영한 장소가 여기예요. Obviously we're in the backyard. <laughs> and there's the infamous garage. They're scared so they're not going to come. Oh, you got to show them. Yeah. Show them my truck. Yeah, and let's take a look at which Chuck. And where are the kittens? They're in the hat. We just have a pecan tree here. Pecan tree? Yeah, but it's gone. It's all over there. Oh, this is our pecan tree? <laughs> yeah. See, southern pecan. And these were all beautiful flowers out here, but kind of kill them all. See how big and tall this is. We used to have a greenhouse here. It's gone and all of my pets are buried right here. <laughs> all your pets are yeah. here? Yogi. And these garden beds my mom used to tend to. Like she planted so many uh, plants around here. 저희의 추억이 깃든 집인데 지금은 완전히 쓰레기장이 됐어요. 
Last time I came here, the interesting thing was in this area. So do you see that chain up there? That's my dad's chain from when he was lifting motors out of his cars. Oh. He's still there. This spray paint is from my dad too, because he built a, a workbench here and he had spray paint here. Mm. Wow, that's so crazy. And this thing was also, you can see this in so many of my old photos. It used to be over here. What? That's so crazy. It's so interesting because like, I can see all the photos in my mind. Like here we had a car with a Christmas tree on top and my brother and I and my dad were here. Or like here there was a car that my dad was working on. Or like this street is where I learned to ride a bike. It's just like really crazy to me. Yeah. It's kind of sad because a lot of the plants that my mom planted don't exist anymore. And you know what's even sadder? The day my dad passed away, I had like asked him if I could have a few dollars to do a lemonade stand. So he gave me a few bucks. My brother and I went to the 7-Eleven that my mom worked at. We bought some lemonade powder. We came back here and right here, we set up a lemonade stand. As you can see, there are so many people walking around, right? So we didn't really have a successful lemonade stand, but we did it right here. We made lemonade for the neighbors. And my mom sat there on those stairs and cried when my dad died. It's okay. Don't think about it too much, okay? okay. Like two houses down, this one is where my friend lived. This was a Korean family's home. It's where I first was introduced to Korean food. <laughs> Little did I know that that would shape the trajectory of my entire life. <laughs> so thank you to the Moon family. <laughs> there's a Moon? Yeah. Oh, nope. there's, there's a car. <laughs> 그러니까 이 집이 레이한테 한국 음식을 처음 입문시켜줬던 그 집이래요. 한국인 가정. <laughs> she would sometimes give me her like. Probably it was kimbap, but I didn't know at the time. <laughs> I thought it was just like sushi or something, I guess. I didn't actually, even at that time, I didn't know what sushi was. So I just ate little rice rolly things <laughs> in class and I loved it. There's a really cute photo of me, at least I think it's cute, from right here. We'll put it on the screen, but it was fall and I picked up a cute little leaf and I just held it and smiled. <laughs> I wonder how much I've changed since then. <laughs> Still cute. Thank God. <laughs> so another fun fact about this area is Chris Brown was born and raised here too. From what I heard when I was younger, he lived on the same street, but don't quote me on it. <laughs> yeah, so it's around here. Like, 이 집들 중 하나래요. 근데 기억이 잘안 난대요. My mom said she was like friends with his mom. Oh. So I don't know how truthful <laughs> that is. But that's the rumor that my mom instilled in me. So yeah. 그래서 제가 오늘 이 투어를 하면서 배운 바로는 레이는 조지 워싱턴이랑 비슷한 곳에서 태어났고 그리고 크리스 브라운이랑 그 호미 관계래요. 래퍼로 이렇게 잘 나가면은 이게 호미 문화 중에 막 평생 살 용돈이랑 이런 거 준다 그러는데 Did you get like the homie homie money from Chris Brown? I thought that's the culture. <웃음> 크리스 브라운 돈 많이 벌었을 텐데 입싹 입 닫고 레이 안 모르는 척 하니까 되게 안타깝네요. And this is the Walmart. This was my dad's favorite place to hang out every single day. So I always had to come here with my dad. And I also had to sell Girl Scout cookies out front here without taking any breaks because my mom told me that hard work is the most important thing ever. So she made me stand there all day. <laughs> Oh, Shoney's. 45 years. See, I told you these places have been open for decades and then they closed down because of COVID. But here used to be a all-you-can-eat buffet. This is the place my dad taught me that if you're going to an all-you-can-eat buffet, you should focus only on the crab legs. And I developed my crab leg addiction here. I used to sit right here in the window just smacking away on some crab legs. 
뷔페 같은 데 가면 은 부모님들이 애들한테 비싼 뭐 개다리, 뭐 스테이크 이런 것만 먹으라고 시키는 게 동서양을 불문하고 진짜 공통적인 교육인가 봐요. <웃음> I had a big life, didn't I? <웃음> 이제 레이 아버지가 일했던 캐논 공장에 가고 있어요. 여기가 레이 아버지가 예전에 일했던 데인데 원래 캐논이었대요. 그 카메라랑 그 프린터 만드는 회사 있잖아요, 일본 회사로. So back in the late 80s, Canon decided to make like a manufacturing plant here in my small town. I believe it's like 10,000 square feet of manufacturing space inside. And my dad in the early 90s got a job here as a mechanical engineer for Canon. He was basically responsible for designing a ton of parts for Canon. My mom used to brag that the parts my dad made were still used in like printers and stuff that were made even like as recently as a couple of years ago and at our house i still have like all of the blueprints and all of my dad's notebooks for all the stuff that he designed while he worked here but right before my dad died they were going to close down this uh, manufacturing plant and move everybody to a different city in virginia called newport news and so my family was supposed to relocate there but then of course my dad passed away and Yeah, this is where he worked every day, just like 10 minutes from our house, which would have been super convenient yeah. if you had two kids and a wife at home. He would come yeah. home and eat lunch with my mom every day, which is so cute. And back then his salary was over $50,000 a year to be an engineer. Can you imagine your rent is only $450 a month? Yeah. And you're making more than $50,000 a year? <laughs> Man. He was living a good life. That's why I got to go to private school. <laughs> I think like it was so good that you came here with me. Thank you. And so interesting for me to like see the environment where I grew up. And like it's true though that if I'd stayed here, I probably would have just, you know, been told that I should learn to be a good wife. I should marry a good man and I should have many children and just live a quiet life here. I think my life would have been so small. So I'm really grateful that my mom like moved my brother and I when she did because my perspective on the world is so different. And like you said, because of that, mm -hmm. I was able to even have the dream of living in a different country and marrying a Korean man because that would have definitely not been in my future had I lived here. So, I mean, it's great that we came here. I have my memory, I have my photo. Thank you for taking a photo of me in front of the house. Let's get out of here, yeah. okay? Yeah. Thanks for coming along with us, guys. But uh, yeah, we're gonna end it here and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, say can you see